हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ वर्षा जौरिया असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ मॉडर्न इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल साइंसेस इंदौर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट हर्बल एक्सीपिएंट्स नेचुरल ओरिजिन एज एक्सीपिएंट्स बेसिकली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट कलरेंट्स एंड स्वीटनर्स व्हाट इज कलरेंट एंड स्वीटनर्स एंड व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस मटेरियल्स इन द फॉर्मूलेशन ऑफ एनी प्रोडक्ट्स First, what is pharmaceutical excipients? So, pharmaceutical excipients can be defined as non-active ingredients, which means which do not API active pharmaceutical ingredient that are mixed with therapeutic active compounds. Therapeutic active compounds means API active pharmaceutical ingredients and to form medicines and which used for any formulations of medicines yeah, uh, or cosmetics the ingredients which is not active compound is regarded as excipients excipients affect the behavior and effectiveness of the drug product more and more functionality and significantly the variability of the active compounds excipients and process are obvious components for the product variability फर्स्ट फार्मास्यूटिकल एक्सीपिएंट्स क्या होते हैं फार्मास्यूटिकल एक्सीपिएंट्स वो होते हैं जो कि नॉन एक्टिव इंग्रेडिएंट्स कहते हैं जो किसी भी हम एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इंग्रेडिएंट्स के साथ मिक्स अप करके किसी भी फॉर्मूलेशंस बनाने में यूज करते हैं सो दिस आर ऑल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एक्सीपिएंट्स Excipients are commonly classified according to their application and functions of drug products. First, binders and dilutes, which is also known as fillers, lubricants, glycans, disintegrants, which is used for lubrications and polishing, film former, coating agent, which is used for the coating of uh, formula, uh, tablet, capsules, and coloring agents, plasticizers, coloring agents. suspending agents preservatives flavoring sweeteners tasting improvement agent printing ink dispersing agent gum these are all excipients which are commonly used in the any formulation whether we are formulate tablet capsule liquid syrup semi solid dosage form lotions yeah herbal products so first uh, advantage of herbal excipients what is the main advantage why we use excipients in uh, uh, by uh, in the active pharmaceutical ingredients so uh, advantage biodegradable naturally occurring polymer produced by all living organisms they show no adverse effect on the environmental or human being another is biocompatible and non toxic chemically nearly all this plant material which is used in the formulation of herbal cosmetics are carbohydrates in nature and composed of repeating monosaccharides unit hence they are non toxic because it is biocompatible and all herbal remedies are biocompatible and non toxic as compared to allopathic or chemicals economic they are cheaply available uh, and their production cost is less than synthetic material safe and devoid of side effect they are form of natural source and hence safe, safe and without side effects easily availability in many countries they are produced due to their applications in may now disadvantage of herbal excipients there are mainly disadvantage of uh, herbal excipients for example microbial contamination variations the uncontrolled rate of hydration slow process heavy metal contamination microbial contamination is uh, due to arise during the production of any formulation they are exposed to internal and external environment hence their chances of microbial contamination variation synthetic manufacturing is control procedure fixed quantities of ingredients while production of natural polymers is dependent on environment and various physical factors uncontrolled hydration 
due to difference in the collection of natural materials at different times as well as different reason species and climatic condition the percentage of chemical constituent present in given material marry may vary so chances of rate of hydration is more in herbal excipients as compared to synthetic material because climatic conditions can vary slow process as the production rate is dependent upon the environment and other factors as we know uh, all herbal uh, products are uh, growing according to their geographical conditions and according to their climatic conditions so hence herbal excipients and production rate is dependent upon the environment and manufacturers it can change so natural polymers have a slow rate of production heavy metal contamination there are chances of heavy metal contamination when associated with herbal excipients now colorants colorants is a very basic excipients which is largely used in the any formulation whether we are formulating tablet capsule liquid dosage form semi solid dosage form cosmetic preparation creams lotion gels etc colorants are more important excipients of pharmaceutical color colorants and color additives as a substance that is added or applied in order the change of color of a material or surface colorants can be used for many purpose including printing painting and for coloring many types of material such as foods uh, if we talking about herbal cosmetics so we use foods and plastics color, uh, colored colorants work by absorbing various amounts of light at different wavelength of its spectrum transmitting or reflecting the remaining light in straight lines or scatter most colorants can be classified as dyes or pigments or containing some combination of this typically dyes are formulated as solution while pigments are made up of solid particles suspended or generally suspended in a pickle color the color or colorant imparts to a substance is mediated by other ingredient it is mixed with such as binders and fillers are added for example pens and inks in addition some color imparts color through the reaction with other substance colorants or the constituents compounds may be classified chemically as inorganic often from mineral source and organic so basically colorants are the substance which is used for the coloring of any material and to enhance and to beautify to change the color of any product we used in pharmaceutical industries and we used in the formulation of any product now classification uh, and examples of colorants which we uh, largely used in herbal cosmetics so uh, as we know we are talking about herbal cosmetics so basically we used we will used in um, natural um, remedies for coloring agents for example natural dyes which is obtained from plants for example berry flower bark leaves seeds etc there are various drugs which uh, which is given in this table catchu indigo fera myrobalan and pomegranate pomegranate which is largely used in the coloring agents natural dyes obtained from insects cochineal and like natural dyes obtained from animal mollusk murex snail cuttlefish shellfish natural dyes obtained from mineral clay ochre and malachite now second is sweetness why sweetness is used sweetness is basically is used in the formulation of uh, tablet and capsule to uh, mask de mask masking the taste of tablet and capsule to mask the bitter taste of capsule or tablet pills etc which used in 
synthetic formulation and also known as herbal preparation also a sugar substitute is a food additive that provides a sweet taste like that of sugar while containing significantly less food energy and sugar based sweeteners making it a zero calorie or low calorie sweeteners artificial sweeteners may be derived through manufacturing of plant extract or processed by chemical synthesis for example sugar alcohol such as erythritol xylitol sorbitol are derived from sugars in 2017 sucralose was the first or most common sugar substitute used in the manufacturing of food and beverages basically stevol glycosides are largely used in herbal preparations which are gaggle of extremely sweet diterpene glycosides obtained with the leaves of stevia mogrosides extract from monk fruit are the gaggle of curcubitin type terpenoid glycosides glycorrhizin is an olefin type diterpenoid organic compound derived from the elements of glycorrhiza plant dates are wonderful sweeteners loaded with potassium copper iron manganese metallic element and pyridoxal the syrup is an excellent sweetener enriched in manganese calcium potassium and zinc so basically we largely use stevia why we use stevia stevia ribodynia is a small perennial growing up to 6550 cm long long and tall with sessile oppositely arranged leaves different species of stevia containing several potential sweetening compounds so why we used uh, mostly stevia uh, for the sweetening agent stevia is used in many parts of the world as a non caloric sweetener along with sweetness a bitter taste is also felt in human as an extract with herb was found to have similar potency with regard to sweetness 10% sucrose solution at either ph 3.0 to 7.0 and uh, stevia uses of stevia stevia is also safe for diabetic patient because non caloric it is it does not affect blood sugar levels stevia does not have the neurological and renal side effects as other artificial sweeteners stevia poses anti fungal anti bacterial properties in addition to its versatile uses it can be safely used in herbal medicines tonics for diabetic patients and also in daily usage product such as mouthwashes and toothpaste mild stevia leaf tea offers excellent relief for the upset stomach so why we used stevia mostly in sweetening agent because this is a non caloric sweetener safe for diabetic patient does not affect blood sugar level does not affect any neurological and renal dysfunction and poses anti fungal anti bacterial properties also anti diabetic also and used in the treatment of git also thank you